Um, it's a real pity you haven't got one of those um, clip-on microphones that looks like a cockroach crawling up your chest. Anyway, right, you're currently um, hosting two radio shows on Radio 1. Tell Indeed. me about them. <laughs> well, you go there, you talk into a microphone, you hope that somebody's listening and you, you go home again. Well, tell us about the two different shows, which one you prefer. Are you enjoying it? Well, at the moment, I've, I've been doing a kind of a series of um, dance parties, which have replaced my Friday night show, where we've actually gone out and uh, made the Radio 1 Roadshow a kind of more dance-orientated thing, and that's been going on for the last six weeks. I actually DJ to like 10,000 people um, in Torquay, which is like absolutely amazing. And it's really nice to actually see physically the people that you're DJing to. Are you kind of satisfied because DJing on Radio 1 is kind of the pinnacle of a DJ's career, would you agree? I guess so. I mean, I, I did want to get a bit part on EastEnders as well. You've done everything from producing, remixing, radio presenting, obviously DJing because that's what we know Jules for, um, television presenting. And blah I hear, blah blah blah, 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 you know what I mean? I hear now that you're going into um, fashion television presenting and you're back in a designer. That's something that's uh, a long way down the line, actually. You know, we, we're keeping uh, that under my shirt. So is that what you're going to do? Present fashion shows? Yeah, will you give us a job? What about, what about modelling? <laughs> the lifestyle, the demand, the whole status with being a DJ is like kind of the modern day equivalent of a pop star. Uh, Would you yeah. agree? Yeah, we're harder than Viagra we are. Do you take them? Uh, my God. <laughs> My God, you can buy them down the old Kent Road, but they're about 25 quid each. I Hopefully know about them. They do actually make them legal, and you can buy them on prescription. It'll it'll bring my costs down, and I won't have to spend such a high proportion of my income on them. You've got a new ambition. Um, do you remember Peters and Lee, Sonny and Cher, uh, those those kind of husband and wife artists? Well, that's what I want to do. Yeah, I want to get my <laughs> wife strumming on a guitar on a bar stool while I play a large uh, grand piano in Elton John style. I think there's room for some glam rock um, designer couples making music these days. I haven't ever told her this, but you, we might as well tell her on national TV <laughs> what my what I was going to say, does she know, right. know anything about this? No, we've never discussed this ever. Would you ever like to go on tour? You know like how Paul Oakenfold did with um, U2? With a famous band or famous singer? I think any band that's got a massive alcohol budget is fine by me. <laughs> and anybody that would take me. Um, Liam, Noel, yeah, <laughs> let's go. We're here tonight at um, the Crystal Rooms for Naughty But Nice. Have you played here before? Yeah, I do here about every six weeks probably. I think it's a real testimony to the, the, the atmosphere and the strength of the club, the fact that they get really the creme de la creme of the UK's DJs coming to a place where they don't really have to come to. Yeah. I mean, on a Friday night, the, um, the range of work that's available is pretty large. It's only because this place is so great that people are prepared to travel that hill and dale journey. And if you do it like when it's raining and, or in the snow, it's even worse. It's about three hours from London. It also pulls people from a really large radius, which is quite surprising considering where it is, you know. You get loads and loads of people from Wales, plenty of people coming over from yeah. the Midlands, and obviously people from Hereford and its, uh, its suburbs. It's always amazed me, it's got to be maybe the smallest city in the country that qualifies as a city, with the possible exception of Salisbury. Oh my God, listen to <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you, you don't get as far as I've got without being really bleeding boring. <laughs> it could be, it could be um, similar icon as Tony Blackburn, I think so, definitely. Will you stop this Tony Blackburn <laughs> comparison? I like it though. I haven't got a range of tacky jackets, just really tacky <laughs> Any tips from, from, from one of the UK's most respected DJs? What can you say really other than set up your own little parties, try and promote them and hope you've got some mates? Jules no mates they call me uh, but I think the best thing to do in all seriousness and if you looked at the example of most of the leading DJs they all set up their own scenes promoted their own parties and took it from there and from that proverbial small acorn um, I was gonna say an oak tree but it just sounds so cliche a dance party scene grew and that's what I suggest so Lisa let's go and find some mates <laughs>